Yeah. The noise is coming from four DC generators which supply a DC current for running the lift motors. This is a generator which is turned from a standard AC motor. The DC voltage it delivers is much more controllable and faster than using standard AC motors for lifts. Each lift has a generator, but it should turn off when the lift is not in use. As these lifts are old, the old fashioned timers that control the generator shutdown are no longer working. This place must have a very high electric bill, as all four generators are now running 24 hours a day. Up here is the machinery for the four lifts. Two are the passenger lifts, which are the nice brass ones, and the other two are the grotty goods lifts. But up here, machinery for all four lifts is exactly the same.
So that's your L and M for your generator. So like star delta. So you've got a C relay, this is your safety circuits when they're all made. You've got H relay, this is your brake relay. So when it goes up, this relay switches on to release the brake. K pulls in to start the generator running. So when that pulls in, the side contacts bring in the supply for L and M. We've obviously got U for up, D for down. That's an auxiliary of up, that's an auxiliary of down. You can tell the last direction the lift went by the interlock behind it. Can you see the bar behind there, Jay? Oh yes, wow, that's really cool. So the last direction this lift went was down because of how the bar is positioned here. See that? These are all your speed relays, 1E, 2E and FE. So when you see the lift start to run, FE pulls in first, then 1E, 2E, then they all drop out in reverse order when the lift slows down and stops. Oh, so these are linked into the contact that touch the copper disc. You're pretty smart, Che Che. You've got your two door open. This is a through car, so you've got a front door open and close. This does the same for the rear door open and close. Basically pulls up when it's open and the contacts make again when they close. Then all the other relays do loads of different things. This is your relay logic. So if we get it moving... Can't wait for this. Uh, is that what you want me to say? Generator shut down, one of these it would be. Even though it's on, it should be off. Something wrong here. Daddy, this one looks like your nose. This one looks like your nose, more like. They are the fuses for the three phases coming in. There's a J switch there, so if you lose one of your phases, it drops out and shuts down the power to the controller anyway. Got an inspection switch here, so you can put it in on inspection then move the lift up and down on slow speed by pushing relays in manually. This trip yesterday on the other lift, if the lift doesn't get to the floor in a certain amount of time it will trip out. Or if it's moving away from the floor level for whatever reason then it trips out as well. It's to keep the motor from burning out. Well this is really interesting Daddy. I'm so glad that you're telling me about this. There's a standard overload. So again if the motor is struggling for whatever reason then it trips out if it's drawing too much current. I know about that, Daddy. It's like an oil pot that gets really hot when it's being overloaded and pushes up that contact and shuts down the power. Sort of like a thermal shutdown or something. I really like talking overloads and explosions and stuff. Is there anything else like that? Yes, Che, there's also a couple of overload devices there. They can also trip out. There's a trickle charge unit there to charge a battery for the alarm bell, so if there's no power. Well, thank you very much, Daddy. I really want to be a lift engineer when I grow up. Not. See these little pins that stick out on the edge of these floor bars there? Every floor's got a contact. That latches in all your hall calls. So if one of them breaks off and you can't get any calls higher up, then that's why. One of them is probably broken off. Yes, I totally understand how this works, Daddy. Well, to explain even more about how this little pin switch makes the lift decide which way to go, I'll make a special video with diagrams and stuff. Thanks, that would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, Daddy, how much are you paying me to say all of this? Uh, we'll talk about that later, JJ. <laughs> Coming soon is a video that explains all about how the carriage works, what the contacts do on each floor rail, and what happens when a carriage brush makes a connection to a floor rail contact. Until then, thank you for watching.